A warning from police raises a gut wrenching question for parents tonight. Could their children be the victims of an accused predator? A man facing child sex assault and pornography charges is now linked to four daycare centers in Metro Detroit. Seven Action News reporter Andrea Isom has the alarming new fears tonight. When a police officer tells you that the day he looked over some evidence in a case was the worst day of his life, then you know that case is disturbing, horrific, and unforgettable. This is the worst case I've seen. Officer Brian Herndon has been with the Detroit Police Department for 21 years, and the case he's been working makes him sad because the victim is as innocent as can be. He is a suspect in what cops call unthinkable, unspeakable crimes, and his victim is just a kid, a little girl, only five years old. Police say she was sexually assaulted. They tell me he was the predator, and she became his prey when he was her babysitter. He was a friend of the family. 37-year-old Michael Panky is nowhere near any children right now. Panky is locked up in federal custody on charges of producing child pornography and possessing it too. I had the unfortunate opportunity to view some of the stuff that he's in possession of and it was the worst day of my life. Police say Panky was a wanted man on five counts of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, one count in the second degree, indecent exposure, and three counts of possession of sexually explicit material. It's a very sick guy. He's been around a lot of kids. He's worked at several daycares in southeast Michigan. From 2015 through 2016, at Little Munchkin's Two Cribs Crayons in Sterling Heights, which is now Rainbow Child Care Center, Gurukul Montessori Academy in Troy, North Hills Child Care Center also in Troy, and Lowry Center Daycare on the Oakland University campus. Police believe there could be more victims of Michael Pankey. Have that talk with your child, the good touch, bad touch. I'm hoping we don't get any more coming forward. I have a feeling we may get a few, unfortunately, um, but the parents need to have the good touch, bad touch talk with their children to find out. If you believe your child is a victim of Michael Pankey, if you believe your little one came in contact with him, call the police department in your city right away. They are there to help you and give you the support you need. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.